Right now, a man in custody following a deadly shooting on I-4. That shooting happened in a car that was traveling east near the State Road 436 overpass around 4.30 this morning. In the minutes that followed, a witness showed up at a nearby 7-Eleven, and the car with the victim inside crashed a little farther up I-4, just east of State Road 434. West Juice Travel Island is live at that 7-Eleven tonight with the late-breaking details on the investigation. Travel. Well, Amanda, investigators say that the witnesses actually jumped from the car on I-4, ran across the lanes of traffic over here to this 7-Eleven where they called for help. At this point, they're not sure what sparked the confrontation, but they say everyone inside of the car knew each other and they were on their way home from a club. This surveillance video shows a man covered in blood and appears to be in anguish over the deadly shooting he had just witnessed. Clerk called in advising a male covered in blood. Said that somebody had been shot and called police. Investigators say this man and two women were inside of this rented car and they were traveling eastbound on I 4 around 4 30 Saturday morning. The three witnesses told investigators that the accused shooter, 25 year old Junior Jadion, was in the back seat of the car when he got into a dispute with the victim, 23 year old Rodney Porter, who was sitting in the front passenger seat. Police say Jadion shot Porter multiple times. That's when the driver and the two female passengers jumped out of the car and ran to this 7-Eleven on Douglas Avenue for help. Detectives say all three witnesses were covered in the victim's blood. Once the witnesses jumped out of the car, the suspect allegedly got behind the wheel and sped off. And then our potential suspect and the deceased person continued traveling eastbound on I-4 where they then crashed. Seminole County Sheriff deputies responded to the crash near I-4 and 434 in Longwood and saw Jadion jump out of the crashed vehicle and run. They were able to catch him and take him into custody. Junior Jadion was booked into the Seminole County Jail on premeditated first-degree murder charges and firing a gun inside of a vehicle. Investigators impounded the rental car and searched it for evidence as they tried to piece together exactly what sparked this deadly shooting. Well, the suspect in this case is a convicted felon. At this point, investigators are trying to determine if the victim in this case actually died from the gunshot wounds or from the impact of the crash. For now, we're live in Seminole County, Altamont Springs, Travel Island, West Tunis.